There are uh, 13 of us children and, and two parents, so a total of 15. Um, we were down here, our house was right here. Um, it was probably about 2,200 square feet, two and a half stories, no basement. Um, and we've been watching the weather all day, kind of following the storms and um, got really sort of like a thunderstorm, really dark, a lot of lightning and, and rain. Dad was watching it from the kitchen window quite a bit and we heard the, it sounded like a train coming up the valley. And uh, a few minutes later we could see it and dad started yelling for everybody to go to the den and, and all the children and everybody went in there. Um, some of us grabbed some blankets and took them in there. Um, we got on the, uh, we all got in the den at the far end of the house, the living room. And um, within a few seconds, the pressure uh, really increased. I've never experienced anything like that. It was a pretty incredibly increase in pressure and sucked all the windows out of the house. And uh, just within seconds, the whole house moved, walls started coming in. And uh, within a few seconds, we were all kind of buried under the house there. And and two of your sisters were hiding under a piano, is that correct? And, yeah. Right. Uh, Tiffany and Emily, um, my two ol oldest sisters, they were trapped under the piano. Um, it was across their, uh, their thighs and their feet for quite a while until we could dig them out. And then, of course, part of the second floor was also on them and some of the roof and quite a bit of structure on top of the piano as well. And then one of your younger brothers was um, trapped under a beam, his head, is that? Yes, Jacob, um, he's 16, he was trapped under, he had his head on the piano, he was sort of halfway standing up, and um, part of the roof was on his head, a lot of pressure. He actually thought he was he was dying and he was praying and telling us all that he loved us and um, he was really brave, brave about that. Um, and then Emily, one of my sisters under the piano, she got us all, um, to sing an Amazing Grace and a few other songs, and so um, that was really a blessing. So tell us about um, what your father did to protect his family and what, what was his role? Um, well, as he was, of course, the last one to come in the den, uh, the living room, once he made sure we were all in there, and he, uh, he had time to get the door shut, and the wall started coming down, and he fell on top of me, and uh, we... Uh, we both went down. I was on top of one of my sisters and um, all the little ones were yelling and panicking and uh, dad was over the top of quite a few of us and um, his breathing was really uh, gargly, a lot of, I'm assuming, blood in his lungs. And um, but he was, he'd never complained or whimpered and you could barely make out that he was trying to pray for us there for about five minutes what ended up happening to your father um he passed away probably within about five minutes um, yeah, my dad was always a uh, he was always one to take one for the team and he was always one to if anybody had to suffer he wanted it to be him not any of us and uh, the lord worked it out fortunately that day the um yesterday the office was closed so he came back home around 8 o'clock, and we all worked around here on, on different projects. So we were able to spend that day with him. This was kind of the living room. Right in this area, there was a lot of structure here. Everybody's been working on it today, so it's off over there. And basically, we all made it in here and got the door shut. And uh, Dad was right in here, and I was over there. And all the walls pushed him down on us. And uh, the piano there was in this area on top of the grass. This is kind of an area, it's kind of hard to tell now. It's pretty much the whole two stories went down yeah. flat. Uh -huh. Well, some of the roof, I think, went off that way. Okay. But a lot, a lot of the floor is, there's the second floor right there, you can see the doors. And then from the time the storm hit, what what was the situation there? How long did it take you all to get out and who was able to get help? Did help come? My youngest brother Judson is five and he got out first. Um, and we sent him to our neighbors back this way and they came a little bit later as soon as they could. Uh, and they got all the little ones out. Fortunately, the little ones were all in, in certain pockets where they could kind of get out without being injured. 
and my old, my brother Joshua, he's uh, 17. He managed to get out and he ran down the road to our neighbors to Crawford's about a half a mile away. So um, within 30 or 40 minutes, we had quite a few guys there and they just started digging. Um, so most all of us were under there for one to three hours. The girls under the piano and Jacob had it the worst by far. And how are, how are your sisters doing? What What's the status with them right now? They are um, at St. Vincent's East right now, and um, they're in relatively good health, no broken bones, fortunately, which is a miracle in and of itself. Um, and th- right now they're having some issues with the nerves in their legs, just the ability to control their legs really isn't there. So it's an I- just an issue of therapy right now as far as we understand it. All right, so Jordan, what's the status of your family and, and um, what are the needs, the biggest needs that y'all have right now and how can the, the body of Christ come around y'all and support y'all and, and pray for y'all? What, what do you, y'all need right now? Um, well, right now, um, if our, the prayers are greatly appreciated right now. If you could pray, especially for my mom. She's handling this really well, but um, I know this is going to be a huge impact on her and on all of us. Um, pray that the Lord would would use this for his glory which i know he will and that he would use this to draw our family closer together and that we would most importantly honor the legacy of our father and that uh, we would live lives that are pleasing to our heavenly father and the earthly father that he blessed us with Um, as far as physical needs immediately um, we've got a lot of people helping us just clear out the wreckage and um, it's still going to take us a, a day or two to kind of figure out the direction we want to go and, and how to really turn turn loose some work um, on the area. So for right now, just pray for our family, um, that the Lord would u- really use this mightily for his glory.